starting a new tutorial series on techniques for improving the appearance of foliage. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about foliage translucency. Translucency is one of my favorite topics in computer graphics. I love the way translucent objects look when the sun is shining through them. In this reference footage that I shot, you can see that the sun is shining through these leaves. As the light passes through the leaves, it picks up the color inside, and we're able to see that color through the back side of the leaves. The light takes on this really beautiful green glow. So this is the technique we're going to be creating today in Unreal. So here we are in our test map, and I'm going to start out the tutorial today by adding this SM bush asset to our scene. And the reason that I'm going to use this bush asset today is because that everybody has access to it in the starter content that ships with Unreal. The bush comes with a material called M underscore bush. And uh, instead of using that one, I have created a copy of that called M underscore bush tutorial that we're going to be looking at, uh, that we're going to be working on today. So I'm just going to switch the material over to the M bush tutorial. And let's jump right into that and take a look. Now, if this looks a little bit complicated, uh, don't worry about it. We covered all of the techniques used to create this shader in episode 12, where we talked about creating leaf wiggle. So that's what's going on here. I'll switch back to our test map, and you can see that the leaves of the bush are wiggling around. Now, I'm not going to talk about wiggling in this episode because I already covered it in episode 12. But I will say just briefly that in order to get these leaves to wiggle, I created this mask here. Uh, I basically just brought the leaves from uh, the bush texture into Photoshop and selected individual leaves and colored them red, green, and blue. And I was able to create this mask. And I'll include this mask in the description for everybody that wants to use it, or you can probably make a better one yourself. So this mask enables us to move individual leaves around and make them wiggle. Now one additional thing that I did do uh, in this particular version of the shader is instead of using the vertex normal, I'm using a normal map to pass in right here. Um, but that's it. So uh, in order to create this, please go back and take a look at episode 12 and create a wiggling leaf shader and then you can continue on with this tutorial. Now what we want to do is make our leaves look like the sun is shining through the backside of them and we want them to light up when we're looking through them kind of like at this angle. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Now the really nice thing about Unreal is that it comes with a feature that's intended to do this. So let's switch back to our material. And if I select the root node here and come over to lighting models, you can notice that right now it's set to default lit, which is just a standard material lighting model. But I'm gonna drop this down and I'm gonna pick two-sided foliage. And this is the lighting model that uh, Epic intends to be used for uh, foliage. And it has this translucent feature built into it. So you can see that when I switch this lighting model, now we have this pin here called subsurface color. And it says, allows you to add a color to your material to simulate shifts in color when light passes through the surface. And that's what we want to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do just to show you how this works is I'm going to create just a static uh, constant color. And I'm just going to color it red. And so now we have this big bright red color passed into our subsurface color. And I'm gonna save this and we'll switch back to our scene and I wanna show you uh, how this subsurface color contributes to the appearance of the bush. All right, so you can see that it's bright red when I'm looking at it uh, with the sun shining right through it. But as I rotate it around, notice that the whole thing is 
pretty much all bright red. And that's because this translucency effect requires lighting to be baked. And it uses the baked lighting information uh, together with the angle toward the sun or toward the light to figure out where the translucency should be. So I'm just gonna go ahead up here and bake my lighting. And now that the lighting is baked, you can see that when I'm looking at things from this side, you can see the green of the foliage. But then when I swing around and look at the foliage with the sun shining through it, the, that red color really sticks out. So the next thing that we need to do is instead of this red, we need uh, to use a color that uh, is a little bit more representative of the color of the light would be shining through the leaves. And I've already selected a color that I like for this, and so I'm just gonna paste it in. Here it is, uh, you can see the color values that I've selected. And I'm just gonna wire this color directly in as my subsurface color, and let's take a look. Okay, so you can see that my subsurface color is, it looks pretty good when I'm looking at it from this angle, but all of the other angles, it's really overpowering. So we need to do a little bit more work in the shader. So let's come back here. And what I'm gonna do is take this color and I'm going to add it to the color that I'm already using as my base color. So I'm gonna add in an add node and I'm gonna wire the RGB of my base color into that. And then I'm gonna wire that into my subsurface color and let's take a look and see what we get. All right, still a little bit overpowering. The last thing that we need to do is paint a mask because not all parts of this bush are uh, translucent. It has branches and stems, and those parts of the bush are actually quite opaque. And so what I've done is I've created a new texture that's a mask for just the leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the scene. And I've called this texture T Bush underscore O, and the O is for opacity. And so this is what that texture looks like. I've just uh, isolated the leaves and made them pure white and then multiplied them by the leaf texture and then uh, set that to black and white. So this is a mask that I've created for the leaves. Uh, and you'll notice that there are no branches on this texture, just leaves. So this determines how much uh, subsurface scattering or translucency is happening. So I'm gonna take this color that I've created for the subsurface color and I'm gonna multiply it by the mask that I created here. And then I'm gonna wire that into my subsurface color. And now you can see there's a really big difference between the areas uh, where the subsurface color is bright and where it's been masked by that uh, opacity mask that I created. It actually makes the branches stand out really nicely. Let's rotate around here to the back. And this is the part that I really love. Look at those leaves. Watch them just totally light up when the sun passes behind. That's one of my favorite effects. I just, I just really love how that looks. I don't know if you noticed, but there is one thing that I forgot to do. If you take a look really carefully, you can see this really interesting looking artifact. Can you see how the tops and the bottoms of the leaves are black? When it wiggles down, you can see a black outline on the bottom of the leaf, and when it wiggles up, you can see a black outline on the top. Well, this is because I forgot to hook up the UV offset to the translucency mask. So let's fix that. Let's switch back to the shader. And you can see here's my translucency mask. My color mask has UV offsets here, and my normal map has UV offsets here, but I forgot to do that for my opacity mask. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wire that up, and we'll save it and switch back over to the scene and take a look and see if that fixed it for us. All right, perfect. No more black outlines or goofy looking uh, black rings around the leaves. That was exactly what we needed to do. So now we have our three textures, our color texture, 
our normal texture and our opacity texture all being offset by this leaf wiggle. And we have our translucency effect happening with the sun uh, passing behind the leaves. It's really nice looking. Okay, there are a lot of other things that we could do, but I think I'll call it good there. And we'll do some additional uh, shader features in the coming weeks. Uh, we're going to take a look at an effect where we fade out the foliage planes when they're at glancing angles. Uh, we're going to take a look at different ways of creating normals for foliage. Uh, and maybe a bunch of other tutorials too. Let's, let's see when we get there. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on translucency on foliage. And if you did, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you back right here next week for another tutorial on foliage.